For the replacement of your ceramic igniter, you will need a 5 16 inch socket with a long extension and a ratchet and a flathead screwdriver. Before beginning work on the grill, make sure to unplug the power cord. To access the igniter, you will also need to remove the cooking grate and the heat diffuser. Once the diffuser has been removed, remove the burn grate from inside the firebox. Use the 5 16 inch socket to remove the two machine screws under the igniter housing. Once the screws are removed, pull the igniter housing from the cooking chamber wall. Gently pull the wires out until you see the watertight connector. Unplug the connector by pushing the tab up and pulling the connectors apart. Make sure the end going back into the grill has not been damaged prior to connecting the new igniter. Connect the new igniter and make sure that the locking tabs click into place. Push the wires back into the fan tunnel behind the igniter. Use the screws that were previously removed to install the igniter back against the cooking chamber wall. Reach into the firebox and turn the ceramic igniter housing clockwise to verify that it is locked into place. Then reinstall your burn grate, making sure that the igniter fits through the center hole. Installing a new fuse is recommended anytime the igniter is replaced. A new 5 amp fuse is supplied in the igniter kit. Find the fuse housing on the outside of the pellet hopper. Using the flathead screwdriver, gently push in on the cap and turn counterclockwise until the tabs release and the spring cap pops out. Pull the cap out and replace the fuse with a new 5 amp fuse. Push the fuse cap with the new fuse back into the housing, use the screwdriver to turn the cap clockwise, securing it into the housing. Reinstall the power cable. Now your igniter replacement is complete and you are ready to begin cooking.